absolutely delighted to be here. Uh, I participated practically in all all the innovators, and uh, this uh, in this conference I'm going to talk about uh, frying uh, and how one could really reduce oil uptake during frying and essentially in fried products. Uh, some of the new methods that are being used to reduce oil uptake. These are not very practical as of today, but as a concept, they are. You know they can be used, and uh, we've got we've done some experiments, and we've also published some papers in this area. We hope that uh, you know someday people people will improve over these techniques, and we are able to enjoy fried snacks uh, just the way we do today, but with less of fat. I think the conference is very important because the conference can set up as a platform for all of the world, and you know that food industry make much faster progress all over the world, especially in Asian and in American. And for Asian, we have a huge of populations, and so to supply the food enough for all of the world. And, and uh, I think it's more important uh, some of the new technology to make the food efficient and uh, sufficient for the all of the world uh, peoples. La idea foi um, platicar con formas muy simples de hacer partículas e hacer filmes que pueden uh, tener alguna aplicación en alimentos, nuevos compuestos que tienen actividad biológica, carreadores de microorganismos probióticos, entonces las posibilidades son muy, son muy amplias. The impact of research is always uh, unpredictable. The only difference between what's happening now and what perhaps was happening a few years ago is that now when you apply for funding, you've got to demonstrate uh, an impact uh, and uh, otherwise you don't get the money. Uh, so increasingly what is happening is that the types of projects that are being researched upon are essentially those which, for which one can see an impact no, when I say impact, I'm not necessarily saying commercial impact. It could be societal impact as well. L'innovation è una base, è stata la base per per lo futuro sviluppo delle industrie e delle imprese alimentari, soprattutto a livello regionale, a livello delle piccole delle piccole imprese. Deve sopravvivere alla globalizzazione e quindi deve fare innovazione. E innovazione anche nelle piccole cose, nelle piccoli, gli aspetti piccoli, marginali, ma che sono importanti per dare la sostenibilità alle aziende piccole e medie, eh, dalle esperienze di tutti noi come è possibile dare più innovazione. Il problema è che le piccole aziende, piccole e medie imprese, ehm, hanno bisogno di innovazioni pronte, hanno i tempi stretti, tempi molto rapidi per rinnovare e qualche volta l'aspetto la, scientifico è molto lento, ma questa è, lo, è la sfida dei prossimi anni e più ricerca applicata per facilitare le aziende a andare sul mercato con nuovi prodotti. Yeah, last year we have a the international cooperation project with Chile. Uh, it's uh, mean to improve the uh, quality of the vegetable and uh, to keep the safety when uh, through the long distance transportation. Hopes that uh, be between the Argentina and the China, which much more communication and much more cooperation. Yo pienso que el propósito de hacer estas reuniones es dar la posibilidad de, de trocar experiencias con las personas. A mí me gusta mucho. <música>